Incredibly sad news broke on April 9th, 2022. The Pittsburgh Steelers quarterback Dwayne Haskins had passed away due to an accident in South Florida. The entire NFL world mourns the loss of such a young and special talent that not only had so much time left in the league, but also an entire life ahead of him, as he was only 24 years old at the time of his passing. Here's the true story of the passing of Dwayne Haskins. So Dwayne Haskins had been in South Florida during his offseason training as according to Adam Schefter. As he stated on Twitter, Dwayne Haskins was training in South Florida with other Steelers QBs, RBs, and wide receivers. He then passed this morning in South Florida when he was involved in a car collision. So following up, he then released another tweet stating, and I quote, Dwayne Haskins, a standout at Ohio State before becoming Washington's first round pick and then playing in Pittsburgh. He passed this morning when he was involved in a car accident in South Florida. Per his agent, Cedric Sanders, Haskins would have turned 25 years old on May 3rd. Dwayne Haskins was on a trip down to South Florida in order to continue his training and continue to grow bonds with his teammates, as a huge void in the team was made once Big Ben officially retired from the NFL. Dwayne Haskins was looking to fill in and become the new starter of the Pittsburgh Steelers, but with this terrible turn of events, we will never be able to see what could have been with Dwayne Haskins Jr. Now, official reports came out from news sources stating that Dwayne Haskins had sadly passed after an incident on the highway. On Saturday morning, Dwayne Haskins tried to cross the interstate of 595 while on foot. Not every single detail has been released from authorities just yet, as the Haskins family needs to approve it before it goes on social media. But here is what has come out so far. Supposedly, the incident was reported to the Florida Highway Patrol just after 6.30 a.m. on April 9th. The patrol reported that Haskins had been walking on the highway for unknown reasons. After Haskins was involved in the accident, it was confirmed that he passed at the scene by highway patrol officials. Unfortunately, there is still a lot of unknowns to his passing. Some sources are claiming that Haskins' vehicle ran out of gas, so he was trying to cross the highway because there was some sort of mall or some sort of store just up the hill. But a traffic investigation is underway in order to try and collect every single bit of possible details in order to form at least some sort of reason for all of this happening. The Florida Patrol had stated in a public message that it could take up to another 90 days before we're able to to get more information on the case. After Haskins sad passing, many of his teammates and friends just shared how great of an overall person that Dwayne Haskins was on and off the field. Even with Steelers head coach Mike Tomlin stating, I am devastated and at a loss for words with the unfortunate passing of Dwayne Haskins. He quickly became a part of our Steelers family upon his arrival in Pittsburgh and was one of our hardest workers, both on the field and in our community. Dwayne was a great teammate, but even more so as a tremendous friend to so many. I am truly heartbroken. Our thoughts and prayers are with his wife and his entire family during this difficult time. Another close teammate of Dwayne Haskins was Chase Claypool, who actually was with Dwayne on the trip in South Florida, and he had this to say on the situation. I spent your final moments with you, and I can't help but think about how selfless you were in those moments. All you cared about was making sure that everyone around you was okay, and I can't thank you enough enough for that. You are what I strive to be. Even Steelers running back Najee Harris was with Haskins just a day before his sad passing, as he was also down in Florida practicing with him, as we saw on Instagram. But this is when we saw Haskins' closest friends throughout his football career share love on Twitter. Terry McLaurin, wide receiver on Washington, shared some insight between the friendship of the two, as they have spent time at Ohio State together, and they were even drafted to Washington together as well. He stated, and I quote, Devastated is the only word I can come up with right now. Dwayne always had a smile on his face. He had a personality that was one of one. We talked the night we both were drafted about how hopeful we were for our future and how excited we were to be able to play and compete together again. I thank God for those memories that we shared and the conversations that we had. I'll miss those so much. He was a man trying to become the best version of himself, just like we all are. He was excited to continue to compete for his dream and I know 
as well as the closest to him that his best years on and off the field were ahead of him. He was more than a phenomenal football player who could spin it like I have never seen to this day. He was a guy who wanted to see the ones around him win and have success. He was a man of God and spoke of his faith quite often. A beloved son, brother, husband, friend, and teammate. I'm heartbroken and pray he knew how much he was loved and how much I loved him. I would have given anything to see him win. His legacy on this earth will forever be felt because of the way he lived life and the way he impacted everyone he came in contact with. Until we meet again, brother, save a spot for me in that big end zone in the sky where we will celebrate again one day. Ohio State Football also posted on Twitter a tweet to remember Dwayne Haskins by stating, leader, legend, forever a Buckeye, with also his former Ohio State coach stating, heartbroken to hear the loss of Dwayne Haskins Jr. My thoughts and prayers go out to his incredible family, one of the greatest quarterbacks in Ohio State history, but an even better son, teammate, and friend. God bless. Now another person who shared the locker room with Haskins was being Big Ben. He had this to say, D Hask, I only had the privilege to know Dwayne for a short time, but in that time, I got to meet a young man who didn't seem to ever have a bad day. He came to work every day with a smile on his face and energy and love in his heart. I really enjoy his passion and love for the game, wanting to learn and be the best. His smile and zeal for life will be missed. Wish we had more time together on this earth, but I will cherish the time and laughs that we had. And I'll say it again, just like I told you to your face, I still wish I could throw the ball like you. Love you, pal. And to his wife, we want you to know that we are praying for you and that we're with you. We don't understand why God does what he does, but we have to trust and believe in his plan. You are an amazing woman of faith, and we trust that you will get through this love Ben and Ashley. So Dwayne Haskins will forever be known as a great person that always brought in a positive vibe to any situation that he encountered. And he always made sure to look out for the people around him. And of course, with his short but so powerful of football career throughout college and entering the NFL, we will sadly never be able to see what could have happened from Dwayne Haskins, giving him the chance of a starting position with the Pittsburgh Steelers. Dwayne had possibly one of the best seasons as a college athlete at Ohio State, as he set multiple records such as season passing yards of 4,831, which included 50 touchdown passes and 4,939 total offensive yards, while taking the Buckeyes to a 13-1 record and a Rose Bowl win. Haskins was a truly special player, but he was also a very great person. If you are a fan of Dwayne, leave a like and comment your favorite moment of his.